Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. In our last video, we took a look at how we could set up an IK rig for retargeting animation onto the free Paragon Muriel character. And we did that complete with the inverse kinematic goals for hands and feet, as well as the different settings for the bones so that the full body IK would work for this character. Now, that's going to be particularly important when we're retargeting animation to this character because this is a fantasy hero character, and she's quite a bit taller than most people, and especially taller than our Vicon performer. So when we retarget mocap animation from our Vicon performance onto Muriel, it's going to be important that we set up those IK goals in the retargeting setup so that we can do foot planting and make sure that... Uh, we have the, the best result possible out of the retargeting because Muriel's legs are, are quite a bit longer in, you know, on a component by component basis, different proportions than our uh, performer in, in real life. So let's get to work on that. So I'll go to content and find my Vicon assets. And uh, let me just do a save all to make sure everything's in place. And we'll start with this IK rig for the Vicon character that's also been created. That is going to be our source for our mocap data. So I'll right click on IK Vicon and create an IK retargeter. This will be the first step in copying motion capture from the Vicon character onto Muriel. So I'll rename this retarget and select it and hit F2. And then I'll call this RTG underscore Vicon and then Muriel. So we know what we're doing here. And it looks like I already have a name for that. So I'll just hit two. And now we'll go ahead and right click and open that up. So we'll edit. When we choose that for the Vicon character, we have the issue of the Vicon hips are at the origin, zero, zero, zero. And Unreal wants to make sure that we apply an offset for that so that the retargeting calculations will work properly. So we do want to apply that offset. And we'll zoom out here. And we've got our Vicon character in place. She's set up as the source. Let's set up Muriel as our target. So I'll select the Muriel rig, which is right here. And that gives us Muriel. Now all of our IK chains are, uh, well, kind of messed up. So let's uh, clear this. We'll go to Auto Map chains and clear everything and then auto map change and just map the empty exact matches there we go so now our chains are mapped correctly but of course our characters are facing one another it's kind of a mess so let's edit our retargeting pose we'll just go here click the double or sorry triple dot button and hit the edit retarget pose and first thing we want to do is spin our source icon the hips need to go around 180 degrees. Here we are, 180. And then also we want to raise her up. So W, we're going to bring it, uh, the Vicon up so that the bottom of her feet match the bottom of Muriel's feet. And that should be good right there. And then we just need to edit Muriel's position so that her arms are out in a T-pose. So we'll go and switch from source to target. And we'll show the bones, character, bones, all hierarchy. We'll select those clavicles. We'll start there, raise those up about 10 degrees. And 10. I think the arms, if I remember correctly, go up about 70 degrees. Yeah, 70 degrees. And then we need to straighten out the forearms. And negative 20, huh? All right, that looks good. Finally, the hands. Now, we don't need to worry about the fingers, but we do want to make sure the palms of the hands are facing down. So just rotate that. Also about negative 20 degrees, it looks like. And the other hand, and we're all set. Minus 20. OK. So again, we don't have to worry about the fingers, and so our retarget should be ready to go. We'll just go ahead and run retargeter, and now we've got our characters facing the same direction, and they're both in T-pose. Great. So let's take a look at this using a animation. I'm going to go ahead and double-click on this dance, and uh, click into empty space. Let's move the Muriel character to one side, and the Vicon character to one side. And all right, so let's take a closer look at what's going on here. 
when we're retargeting, there's actually three different solvers running. There's the root, the forward kinematics, and the inverse kinematics. And there's switches here in the upper right-hand corner that let us turn those on and off. So if I deactivate the inverse kinematics, then what's happening is we have just the root animation, so the pelvis, the hips here, plus the rotations of the joints. And with this, we're going to see a lot of slipping. You can see here that the IK targets of Muriel's character, they're not being driven at all because I've deactivated the IK solver. And as a result, the feet are very prone to slipping on the ground here. If we look closely as we hit play, you can see that as the feet are landing, they tend to slide around. And that's a result of Muriel's legs being different proportions than our performer's legs. Now, meanwhile, the hands are actually looking pretty good using just FK. So let's reactivate IK, but we want to turn off the IK for the hands because our hands here are not selecting or grabbing any kind of a, a set prop or anything like that. So let's go to chain mappings right here and we'll select the hand chain here for the left arm. And here with the arm chain selected, we have the FK and that's on. We have the IK inverse kinematics and that's on. So I'll deactivate the inverse kinematics and we've already gotten a little bit of improvement, but the spine is still doing some strange things. And that's of course, we still have the IK on for the right hand. So I'll go to the right arm chain and deactivate IK and you'll see Muriel will move into place. And now from her root all the way out to her hands, she's really just playing out the rotations of these joints proportionally. So there we go. So we've got some good performance from the hands and you would hope that the feet are also locking in, but there's still some slipping going on. So what we want to do is analyze our mocap source, identify when the feet are planted to the ground, not moving, and make sure that we assign those foot plants to the Muriel character as well, so that her feet never move when the Vicon character also plants it, their feet. So let's go to the asset browser and I'll go to the dance asset that we're looking at, right click and browse to asset. So in our content browser, we've got our uh, asset for the dance animation selected. I'll double click on that to open it up. And here's our Vicon animation. And what we want to do here is analyze the feet. So let's go to window and choose animation data modifiers. Now note, this is the window menu in our asset editor here. So click on animation data modifiers. We're going to add a modifier and this is a motion extractor modifier. So we want to extract motion data uh, from the feet. So with this activated, I need to put in a, a bone name. So I'm just going to move in here and select, I want the right toe base. There we go. So we'll say that this is for the right toe base. And I'll select that name, control C. Now the motion type we want, we want speed. So translation speed, and we want that on all axes, X, Y, Z. So that's set up for the right toe. Let's add another one of these motion extractor modifier. And for the second one, we'll paste in that name, but we want to change the word right to the word left. All right, make sure we capitalize that left toe base. Again, translation speed. And again, all three axes X, Y, Z. With that all done, we can go ahead and apply the modifiers. When we click apply modifiers, Unreal is going to analyze the movement of the right toe base and their left toe base joints and add curves to our animation to report on the speed of those bones as the animation plays out. So you can see we've got lots of different peaks and valleys. So if I move into here, for example, and zoom right in, on that little bit of the timeline. Here we can see that there are generally times when the uh, the value is basically floored at zero. And that is when, of course, in here, the feet are both uh, down on the ground. And if we see this little peak here, that's, that should correspond to the left foot here. This is the left foot. When that left foot moves, right there. There we go. There's the left foot moving and it's got some speed. And then when that foot goes down, now we pick up our right foot and we see a little blip 
in motion for that right foot, and then another one. So that's what this data is. We'll close this, and I am going to need that data back here in our retargeter. What we're going to do is go to chain mappings, and this time instead of the arms, we're going to go to the right leg here. And with the right leg, we're going to activate speed planting. And this is going to make use of that data. So we activate speed planting, and it just needs to know, well, where's the data that it's going to base the uh, foot planting on? Right now it's set to none. So I'm going to go back to my dance. I'll go to my right toe base curve, right click that, copy selected curve name, right, right click copy selected curve name and we'll go back to our retargeting and paste that right into here paste and so now speed planting is going to be set up for the right foot and let's do that for the left as well activate it paste and of course change the word right to the word left and there we go and if we hit play now we should see a much better result with our foot planting and that's it we're ready to go with all of that applied, we're using our IK rig properly. We can go to our asset browser, select the dance. We're just going to go to export that selected animation. We'll go ahead and put that into Paragon Muriel. Characters, heroes, Muriel. We'll go with meshes for now. Instead of animations, we'll add a prefix. Muriel, underscore, and suffix, footplants. All set, export, and we're good to go. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.